University of the District of Columbia holds a unique place in the academic life of the nation's capital. As the nation's only urban land grant institution, UDC supports a broad mission of education, research, and community service opportunities, ranging from associate and workforce development programs at the community college to bachelor's and graduate programs, including the David A. Clark School of Law. The BS in Nursing degree program is housed within the College of Agriculture, Urban Sustainability, and Environmental Sciences, which offers research-based academic and community outreach programs. The UDC Baccalaureate nursing degree is designed for registered nurses who currently hold a license to practice nursing in DC. Well here with more from the university or Dr. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Dr. Broadnax, I don't want to mess it up. Dr. Broadnax, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And Dr. Ayanna Elliott, welcome back, both thank of you. you. It's happy thank to you. see you guys. I'm glad to be here. There is a lot going on at UDC, the nursing program. I mean, again, just re-accredited. Yes. How did this happen and what does this mean for the university? Lots of hard work mm -hmm. <laughs> because you have to prepare and uh, we were awarded with an eight-year reaffirmation of our accreditation. Okay. And so we're planning to celebrate break for the next eight years. Woo! <laughs> a party's going to be going yes, on. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, and reaching out to the community to let them know that we're ready, we're open, mm -hmm. and um, we want you to come. Yeah, of course. Dr. Ellie, I ask you, you know, how busy has it been the last couple of weeks preparing because everybody's getting ready to come back to class? Well, we're gearing up for fall. Yes. It, it is an exciting time. You yes. know, fall is the big kickoff. Mm -hmm. um, lots of new students coming. We have our continuing students coming on. And, you know, uh, exciting programs will begin this year. Um, we're kicking off one of our, our biggest initiatives, our Get Up and Move initiative with uh, mm -hmm. Love Your Body. So that's pretty exciting. That Looking is exciting. To that. What picture? Oh, we just showed a picture there. Did you, were you able to see that, the picture? Is yeah, that from that's from last year's Get Up and Move mm -hmm. event. Okay. And we had uh, the privilege of having Dr. Ian Smith come and do our kickoff with us for that. From the Shred Diet. Yes. Yes, yes a good guy, yeah. And so we're, we're excited about this September the 17th for this year's kickoff. To Hoping get up that and folks move. will come out and join us. So is that part of the happy people, happy city? Uh, healthy that we people. Have? Yeah, healthy people. Healthy, healthy communities, healthy people. Okay. And uh, that's our tagline for the college. Mm-hmm. And uh, what it means is that uh, we focus on building healthy communities through our department of um, our architecture program. But the nursing focuses on reaching out to the community. We do a lot of uh, learning in the community with our health fairs and special projects. Mm -hmm trying to teach people how to stay healthy. Is that from the health fair, maybe from uh, last year? No, that was, uh, yes, that's, that was one was on campus. Well, on campus, mm -hmm. but you get out in the community oh, yeah. and you talk to people, yes. and what is the, uh, what is that like when you guys take the classes out into the community? What kind of feedback are you getting from the community? Are they excited to see your students? Well, they are excited primarily because we take um, a one-to-one -one approach. We do health screening, mm -hmm. and then we take the results and, um, Take the time to explain to them and answer any questions they have. How do you stay healthy? What do the numbers mean? Um, just this last Saturday, we were at the D.C. General uh, Family Shelter, okay. and it was an exciting time, and uh, the needs are great. Yes. I mean, all over the city, not just mm -hmm. at the shelter, and we tend to uh, educate our nurses so that they can be leaders in the community. Mm -hmm. They will know how to educate anyone where they are, and uh, so they've become more excited about uh, this different aspect of nursing because you know as nurses we know the uh, routine clinical inpatient but as the care moves to the community mm -hmm. we want our nurses to be more excited to be comfortable working in the community without all of the infrastructure that hospitals afford and um, we're good at it. Yeah. And, that's, and that's a huge plus because yes. a lot of times you know the bedside manner makes or breaks a deal for a lot of people. Yeah. You know, for older people, it scares yes, them. They're exactly. afraid to do surgery and something. So you need to have that one-on-one -on -one with somebody to add comfort and to reassure them that they're making the right choices really for themselves. Really a part of that relationship building. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's great. So, Dr. Elliott, we're talking about a system that you guys have here at UDC from the community college level all the way up to a four-year degree. Right. And now, look at you. You are a product of that system. Yes. And how has that been? And, w and what do you tell new students coming on board? Well, I started in the associate's degree uh, program at UDC mm -hmm. and then um, went on to the uh, baccalaureate program and one of the things like Dr. Brodnick said is that the, the program really teaches and empowers the students to be leaders, um, to go on to be leaders in their community and in the nursing profession. 
uh, mm -hmm. we are building and culminating the next generation of, uh, of nurses. And so um, it was really that baseline education that inspired me to go on and, and get a master's and a doctorate degree and really excited about coming back to the university to bring my experience and mm -hmm. talent to um, to the uh, my alma mater and to help really make uh, health and health education cool yeah it's yeah. definitely cool <laughs> I'm telling you if more doctors look like you we'd be seeing more of them right <laughs> that's for real yes. all right how do we enroll to get into UDC First, you must apply to the university. Okay. Uh, we have our admission criteria, and you must be licensed to practice as a registered nurse in the District of Columbia. And also, you must have a, uh, graduated from an accredited program okay. because the accreditation is a stamp of approval that mm -hmm. says that you have uh, your program is uh, performing at a certain level. And um, then you come in. And, and then you come in? Yeah. And so you, you can always visit our website, www udc.edu okay. and navigate the site and learn for more information. Great. Well, and I'm always available. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank, you. thank you both for thank coming you. in today. Thank Good luck you. for the new school season that's starting. Yes. Yeah. Like you said, really summer's excited. over and you're back to school. <laughs> We're very right. excited. Thank you, Dr. Broadnax and Dr. Elliott for joining us today. For more information, UDC's RN2 BSN nursing program or any of their other degrees and majors, simply go to udc.edu. Stay with us. We'll have more of Let's Talk Live coming up after the break.